Hi, I'm Angela Nicholson, Head of Testing for Futures Photography Portfolio. Today we're down at Canon's UK headquarters to take a look at the new EOS 650D. There are a couple of really exciting features about this camera. The first is, it's the first Canon EOS camera to feature an 18 million pixel CMOS hybrid sensor. Second feature is, it's got an articulated touch sensitive screen. Inside is a Digic 5 processor which allows shooting at a continuous rate of 5 frames per second. It's also possible to record full 14-bit RAW files. Sensitivity runs in the native range of ISO 100 to 12,800, but that can be expanded to 25,600. It's also possible to record full HD video, and sound is recorded using the stereo microphone on the top here. And also, there's a mic in port around the side. In live view mode, the camera can shoot with continuous autofocus, and that uses a combination of phase detection and contrast detection focusing. However, in normal reflex mode, there are nine AF points, and all of those are cross-type. And of course, it's got Canon's IF seal metering, which was first seen in the Canon EOS 7D. The EOS 650D is all about making photography easier for beginners. And there are two new shooting modes that are accessed via the dial. The first is handheld night scene, which takes a sequence of four images, which are also aligned and put together to give a correctly exposed image. The second is HDR backlight control, which takes a sequence of three shots, which are auto-aligned to create one single image, which has got correctly exposed foreground and background. The creative filters, which can be applied to recorded images, have now been boosted from five to seven, with the addition of art bold and watercolour effect. Now, because the camera's got a touch screen, we can review images and swipe through them. We can also pinch zoom to zoom in and back out. and then we can select images merely by tapping the screen and then zoom in again and if we go to the menu we can actually give a rating to that image. That rating gets written to the EXIF data so it's uh, useful for searching through your images once you've downloaded them to the computer. The quick menu is also controllable by the touch screen so I just press Q to bring up the quick menu. I can now select for example the ISO option, press it again and I can select the option I want. And now if I want to change the picture style, I'll just select that option, it tells me what it is. And I can either touch the screen or I can scroll through them if I want. In live view mode, we can set the AF point wherever we want just by touching the screen. And there it is in focus. If I touch this icon here, I can switch on the touch shutter mode. Now if I touch the screen, it's going to focus and fire the shutter. On the top of the camera, the power switch can now be used to activate the video mode. If I want to start video, I just press this button and it starts recording. I press it again to stop. But I can also still take a still using the shutter release button. If I just put the camera back into reflex mode, I can start live view by pressing this button. Pressing that button again won't start video, but I can press the shutter release to take a still. In manual exposure mode, you can use the screen to adjust the exposure just by touching that icon to bring up the shutter speeds. And then press the back or touch the back icon and now we can adjust the aperture. The 650D has got a great new noise reduction feature. It's found in the menu. Just navigate to the high ISO noise reduction, press set and scroll across to NR and it will set the camera to take a sequence of four images which it then combines to create one image with lower noise. And mounted on the camera, we've got the 40mm f2.8 STM lens, Canon's new pancake lens. This uses a new stepping motor, which is a little bit slower than USM, but it's a lot smoother and is really useful for video shooting. For more information about the new Canon EOS 650D, take a look at our review online.